Georgia Southern working out of that gun option with Shy Wirtz. And they'll try to get around the left edge with Wesley Kennedy. But more, we'll see if they want to or have to a little bit more today. Option right this time, and the pitch to J.D. King. King and right in the backfield here on fourth down. Wirtz keeps it, and he's got it. Works his way down to the 11-yard line, and a first down for Georgia Southern. On fourth and short, Wirtz follows Bo Johnson, looking to try to get to the right edge, and he's cut down behind the line. And a big stop for the Lafayette defense, Cam Podesco. Got him back around the 10. That gets the first big play. You talk about stepping up in a good, in a big way. It's the Louisiana defense handled. From nearby Baton Rouge, who's running the show for the Raging Cajuns, who have scored over 30 points in each of their first couple of games to get out to the 2-0 start. Vocal, bulk of the load in the backfield without star running back Elijah Mitchell. Out for COVID-related reasons, one of seven starters that won't be on the field today for Louisiana, and a terrific second effort. And they're starting right tackle, Max Mitchell, which could be significant considering Lewis is a lefty. So that would be his blind side all day to find his receiver, Devin Pauley, downfield. Inside the 20-yard line and a first down for the Raging Cajuns. Four on the season. From the 15, fourth and five. Lewis, the slant broken up, incomplete, and Georgia Southern gets a red zone stop. Got it. So after the fourth down stop, first and 10 works. Looking to throw it deep, he's got a man open at the 40, catching it in stride. And down close to the 20 yard line. Back to the full backfield on first down. A good stiff arm to get around the corner. The cut back at the five. And the touchdown for Georgia Southern and Matt LaRoche. And now they're going to say he stepped out of bounds at the 10 on the cutback. Matt LaRoche, just to watch the stiff arm, the right, the right hand. He's got the ball in his hand, and stiff arms, gets to the outside. Averaging close to five yards per carry. And that's exactly what they'll do. And look at the legs churning for J.D. King to extend that run and into the end zone for the touchdown. Out of that empty set again. He's got time across the middle. First down out to the 32-yard line. And Devin Pauley, four for eight for Lewis, 69 yards on the afternoon. They'll run it with Chris Smith, breaking tackles, and out into the clear, one man to beat, and tripped up at the Georgia Southern 30-yard line. First down from just outside the 30. More of Smith, dancing and darting his way down inside the 20, and a second trip to the red zone for Louisiana. The last 19 matchups between those two teams. Regis with one. And with six, touchdown, Louisiana. It's third down. Can they find a way to keep these chains moving? Lewis converts out across the 40. Block, they can catch out of the backfield. Regis is offset. He's a check down, but Lewis has other plans. Throws it deep, and it's intercepted at the 15-yard line. Words, has to put it out in front of these wide receivers. Wirtz, deep down the middle of the field, into double coverage, and that is intercepted. And the Raging Cajuns will get the ball back, and then it's stripped away, and Louisiana recovers it midfield. Favorite target so far this year, down the bottom of your screen. Levi's looking that way. LeBlanc gets behind his man the 16-yard line. From 34 yards out to take the lead into the locker room. And it's no good. He missed it. He's an ultimate pro, even though he's still in college. And he's one of the reasons why this offense is playing yep. the way that it is. Because you have from, from Don Davenport. He's going to throw here. And he'll hook up a 
on the edge with Darian Anderson. We're down right here. Shy and this offense have converted on six of nine. He'll keep it and run it off the right side, and he's got the first down to about the 31 yard line. And getting his defense off the field. Ninth play on a uh, five minute plus drive now for Georgia Southern. Words to throw. And it's caught on the edge for another first down. Dexter Carter go on third down. Bo Johnson is the motion man. Wirtz lofts it into the back of the end zone incomplete. Patient, that could have been a touchdown. Alex Rayner, the freshman on the kick. The Big Ten coming back, the Pac-12 coming back, and also this week the Mountain West and Maction going to return as well. So that means all 10 of the conferences five that are in the rankings. How many of those will stick around early November when voters can start adding Big Ten and Pac-12 schools? And they're going for the deep ball right here, and it's broken up at the five-yard line. Rifled across the middle, wide open. Kyron Lacey lost the football late in the play and was able to dive back on it at the 35-yard line. They're going to run it with Bailey. Show him some speed. He's got the first down inside the 15. Diving down to the 11-yard electric run by Imani Bailey, the true freshman. You may see two plays here inside the 10. Lewis, back corner of the end zone, broken up, looking for Devin Pauley. It will be 25. And it's good. It's good. Championship pedigree, by the way, for both of those teams. Throw downfield, caught as they move into Eagles territory and a first down to Kyron Lacey who is emerging on the outside today. So we certainly uh, hope that all is well for Kirk and his family. Across the middle for another first down for the Raging Cajuns. of course during quarantine running routes together you saw that chemistry for them just now shy Wirtz has a man wide open across midfield and hauled down at the 31 That's yard line from louisiana from the field tripped up in the backfield is laroche and it's fourth down making a play there on third down alex rayner he's hit once today second time it is no good. In Ohio making the play there. On second down, works. Back to throw. He's got his tight end, Bo Johnson, with a blocker in front of him. Inside the 20, racing down the sideline, lunges for the end zone, and the ball popped out. The signal here is touchdown, Georgia Southern. Does he break the plane with possession? That will be under review. That play will be under review because he lost control of the ball before he got to the end zone. That's Bill Belichick rule number, number one. If you're an offensive player, do not reach the ball out to cross the goal line. Didn't need to stick After the ball After video out. review, there is no touchdown on the play. The runner lost control of the ball at the two-yard line, fumbled into and out of the end zone, which results in a touchback. First down, Louisiana. Four of six on third downs, throwing it for Levi today. Pass attempt here. Deep down the middle, overthrown and complete, and that will stop the clock for Georgia Southern. In their own 38. Four-man rush works out into the flat. First down, close to midfield to Caleb Hood. Don't rush. Wirtz going to scramble, has some room. Down inside the 35 and out of bounds. On second down, blitz coming. 
Georgia Southern picks it up, the throw into the end zone, reaching out and hauling it in for the touchdown is Caleb Hood. What a catch in traffic. By Caleb Hood, the sophomore from McDonough, Georgia. First of all, he gets one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. They blitzed. Shy Wirt saw it, and he knew where he wanted to go with the football before the play even started. Wirtz, under pressure, slips it. Looking downfield, finds a man in the end zone, and he's got it for the conversion. Darian Anderson. Shy Wirtz, he's pressured. He's got a lineman in his face, and all he does is spins, pirouettes, keeps the hand down to the ground, but keep his eyes downfield. Watch. Maybe get a check down. Lewis drops it off underneath. A lot of room for Regis to roam and get out of bounds to stop the clock. Showing blitz, then they pull back. Regis had some room. Got the first down and runs out of bounds inside the 40. Down to the 36-yard line. Kick is on its way from Snyder. He's got the run. Recently, my